I love watching sports. It's blissful to witness athletes breaking world records, performing at the highest level, and achieve the goals they set themselves at. But we must also remember and consider how they achieve their goals. First, they have to work so hard just to achieve the minimal standard or qualification time to compete. Then at every level of competition, they must perform as their best in the tremendous pressure they're in. It is the same for church leaders. In today's passage, Paul highlights the qualifications of elders and deacons to tell us the enormity and the importance of their tasks in the church. Three things I've learned from today's passage. The first thing is their tasks are important and noble tasks. Paul says very, very clearly that elders and deacons' jobs are honourable. So if it's every good man should be looking up to and want to be in that position. But spiritual leadership is not about honour and glory. It's about service and hum, humble heart and love. So Paul says, uh, in Jesus, reminded us of Jesus, what Jesus said, he said, if any one of you want to be the first, must be the last and a servant of all. The value of the elders and the deacons are so important because the job, if it's chosen the wrong person, it can have devastating results. The second thing I've learned is there must be qualifications for it. God has specifically qualifications for these jobs. It's not just that we can just pick people at random, or if people desire it, they can have it, or because of their natural abilities. They must serve God, not only with their inward heart, with their character, but always the, the conduct and how the experience counts at, uh, too. Because they must serve God with the biggest uh, honor and also with the best reputation in the people outside. The third thing I've learned is the church is the pillar of truth. The reason why Paul writes this so seriously to Timothy is because he wants to give instructions to him so he can run the efficient church well. He says the church is the pillar of truth if we run as well, if we are blameless and we preach the word well. And we must make sure that the church is holy and attractive because that's where God resides. My application today is not every Christian can be a church leader, but we should pray for our church leader and also use these qualifications to help us to grow so that in one day God can, we can serve God in these ways. So there are directions for us to grow as well. And we must love the church because the church is the pillar of truth. We must love it. We must join a faith community so that we can live our identity in missions. In Jesus' name. My prayer today is, Father, we thank you for giving us church and thank you for all the great leaders and elders in our church. We pray for the protection and pray that, Lord, you're going to use them mightily. Help us all together to serve you with love and power and authority in this confused world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.